My name is Dick Talley. I'm a faculty member here in the Division of Public Safety Leadership in the School of Education. More and more people are required to um, serve their public customers in a way that uh, is increasingly demanding. And so the communication skills, the decision-making skills, frankly, the basic leadership skills are essential. I love to talk about the history of leadership. We've been thinking and writing about leaders since we've had people, and that's a very long time. I like for students to be aware of that and come to understand something of that rich history and tradition and come to the point where they can use that as a way of understanding some of what's going on in a contemporary way. And once you see those lights begin to come on and then, uh, students begin to use that history in a way that helps inform their thinking about what's going on today, that's a lot of fun for me. Ideal students in the intelligence analysis program are actively involved in the uh, intel community as analysts and they're very serious about their jobs. Many of them got into the profession as a result of their reactions to what happened in our country on September the 11th in 2001. So they care very deeply about wanting to do something to make a difference and make a contribution. And they care very much about developing themselves, so they're very hungry and thirsty for the kind of leadership skills that we're talking about. And they care a lot and passionately about developing their profession as well. There are lots of places you can go for intelligence analysis education, and there are lots of good ones. They would fall into two broad categories, those that focus on what we call tradecraft skills, that is teaching people how to do analysis, and those that focus on the leadership and management skills within the profession. There aren't so many of those, and that's what we do. And that's what we know how to do, that's what we've done for 16 years, and our passion is in creating the nexus, the connection between the intel community and the public safety community, which everyone agrees needs to happen. We bring into the program uh, faculty who are active in the intel community. Of course, all of our courses are in an open source setting as required by law, but most of our faculty uh, are actively working in the intel community. Um, we have, an, uh, as an example, uh, one faculty member who's got a Harvard degree who's head of a, an important team at the National Counterterrorism Center, and he's teaching a, a Managing Differences class for us right now. We have a former a deputy director of the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Agency who's taught a number of courses for us. So we focus on scholarly practitioners um, to uh, help make our program as successful as it's been.